Can you hear me? Is it okay? No? I'll come with your sister. Hello. Firstly, I would like to apologize for starting late, uh, but we had uh, several changes in the agenda. So I will officially open the second session for today. So, Honorable Rector of uh, International Balkan University, Professor Dr. Mehmet Dursinerdam, Honorable Rector of Josef Golučovsky University of Applied Sciences, Professor Dr. Pavel Gotovjecki, uh, Honorable Rector of Karabuk University, Professor Dr. Efik Polat, Respected Vice Rector for International, of International Balkan University, Associate Professor Dr. Uh, Bibludin Ibish, Respected Representative from the National Agency, Mr. Alexander Bogoevsky. Dear academic and administrative staff, dear students, and dear Erasmus guests. Uh, we are gathered here today. Uh, it is basically the first official rector's panel that we've ever organized. And I'm really glad that we have three rectors present here today uh, and also various speakers. Uh, so we are going to discuss the concept of internationalization uh, with the both of the rectors. And before we start, we are going to welcome uh, several of our speakers. First of all, uh, we would like to invite our uh, Vice Rector, Professor Dr. Amilu Dinibish, to address the audience. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Rectors, Dear Rector Professor Mehmet Redem Dursun, Rectors of the universities that are participants at this event. This is my second time, and sometimes when you are for the second time, you become sometimes odd. But I'm just uh, substituting Professor Sevdar, and I will hold just a short speech. Uh, dear professors, academicians, students, valuable guests, uh, and honorable uh, representative of the agency, 
that you always support us. And I thank you very much for your cooperation indeed. Uh, the topic is internationalization and I had just five minutes to prepare. So let me just say a couple of words that I think that it should be done uh, in this time. It seems to me that the living in a time of globalization, internationalization is a process that it's inevitable. And it does not only help us to make a bridge or networking as we said uh, yesterday, basically. But I think, in my opinion, uh, internationalization practically helps us to bring about uh, competition, uh, not only access to information, but also access to knowledge and distribution of knowledge. The movement, uh, the mobility of students and mobility of professors, basically uh, that platform makes us to see uh, the uh, possibility of uh, hindering more into knowledge and having a kind of internal uh, competition. Because we professors, we are quite much isolated. Once we have a PhD, we live in an isolated world. So once we go and we meet others, it seems to me it's a very well uh, addressed platform for uh, internal competition, but also for students. So that when they go up you know, to other st states and they come back, they try to evaluate us better. So it, it makes a kind of internal, I believe, internal local competi competitiveness through internationalization. For me, also, uh, the, pers the perspective of internationalization makes for universities legitimacy. You have legality back home, but you don't have legitimacy. Therefore, uh, the, the global content basically helps us to be more legitimate in terms of knowledge, research, platforms, and so on and so forth. Uh, and internationalization, for me, is something that will help us together to uh, speak about the uh, contemporary challenges. For instance, chat GPT. What do we do when students have much more information than us? What do we do when uh, they have answers of analytical questions? How we are going to uh, practically uh, foresee that? And what are the new methods that we need to uh, involve? And it seems to me, maybe I'm wrong, uh, that our systems are not basically reflecting the needs of our students because we have students which are much more capable, much more informative, much more well equipped with languages. So it seems to me that we need together to think about changing the educational systems in order to reflect or contemplate in terms of what students have in their uh, portfolios. I duly believe that uh, rectors from both very valuable universities will speak about their own experiences and we are going to study and learn very much from their own uh, platforms. Uh, I hope that this will be a fruitful meeting and I wish you all well. Thank you very much. Dear Vice Rector, Thank you very much for your constant support of our events. As we mentioned yesterday, the National Agency for the European Educational Programs and Mobility has always been a great supporter for us. We are genuinely really thankful that you always support our events, that's, that you support our program and uh, everything related to the Erasmus program. So if the, the National Agency didn't exist, we wouldn't have the Erasmus program here. So we are really grateful. Uh, now I would like to invite Mr. Alexander Bugovsky to address this. Thank you, Dukica. I'm Alexander from the National Agency. Uh, I, would say, I would like to say greetings also from our director. He had some meetings and he's not uh, available now at the moment. But basically, we as a national agency, we have started with uh, existing in 2009. Uh, Macedonia has become in 2014 the full participant in the Erasmus Plus program. I would like to mention that uh, also and to say thank you to Dukica, to Janeta, also to Snežana, who are also uh, very well, uh, they're also managing very well the Erasmus Plus program, not only in the part of the individual mobilities, but also in the other part of the program, for reason that this Erasmus Plus program is not only for incoming and outgoing of students and staff, and also, uh, according to our statistics and to the statistics of the system of the European Commission, we have granted more than 1 million euros uh, until now to the International Balkan University. So this is, I would say, a um, significant amount that have been granted to the International Balkan University. I hope that we'll have also successful implementation of the activities in the period that is in front of us. And uh, I would like to encourage the International Balkan University to have also active participation, not only in the individual mobilities in this program, but also in other activities. For reason that the budget that is um, available for the period of 21-27 is more than um, 26.2 billion euros. This is also a huge amount for internationalization, not only the higher education area, 
but 43% uh, of the total budget is allocated for higher education. So when we are going to take in consideration this, the aim of the program is basically in the higher education. Also, through these individual mobilities, I know from Dukica and from other st uh, staff that are working in the International Relations Office at International Balkan University, we are also active in other fields, not only in the key action one, but also in the cooperation partnerships, in the virtual exchanges you have applied also. And also I would like to put a name on the next level of this program, which is called the European University Initiative. This is a program which is new and it is, it is incorporated in the Erasmus Plus program. And the total budget for the call that was published this year in January, the deadline was 31st of January. Only for one call, there were uh, there was available budget of 384 uh, million euros, only for one call. So it's not all, always about the budgets and about the, the money, but in general, if you want to have uh, huge internationalization here, especially in the country, which is uh, essential, for reason that the number of uh, domestic students each year is decreasing and we need to put focus not only at the International Balkan University, but also at other universities in higher education institutions on internationalization and enrollment of foreign students. Uh, I think, and I'm quite sure that we need to put a little bit more focus of this program, programs from the European Union, which are established more than 30 years on the European level. And I would like to motivate you also to collaborate not only with European countries, but also with other countries from the world outside of the borders of Europe. For reason that uh, this program since 2021, it's open for the world. So in general, all the institutions, not only higher education institutions, but non-governmental organizations, public and private bodies, companies, etc., can be your partners as International Balkan University to different kind of activities that you can be uh, in charge of, or you can be, you can participate as a partner. So as a national agency, we'll continue with the support through the individual mobilities and through the cooperation partnerships, but also will be by your side in the terms of centralized actions and other activities that are going to be undertaken to this program. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Bogolevsky, for addressing our audience. Uh, the next speaker that we are going to invite on stage is the rector of Josef Kuchovsky University. Uh, Please, Professor Pavel, can I just let you? Dear rectors, dear academic staff, dear guests from abroad, uh, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I uh, want to thank you for the opportunity to visit International Balkan University and your beautiful country. Uh, I am impressed by your, your university and your well-organized initiative. I don't know any other Macedonian universities, but I think you are the showcase of your country. My name is Paweł... <laughs> My name is Paweł Gotowiecki. I am the director of the Józef Gołchowski University of Applied Sciences. We uh, were established in 1996, so we are a young university, but on the other hand, we are one, the, one of the oldest uh, Polish private universities, uh, non-public universities in Polish nomenclature. Uh, in three words, we are creative, flexible, and open to cooperation. My friend, Dr. Przemysław Fuegacz, Dean of the Faculty of Social and Technical Sciences, will tell you more about us in the presentation uh, for a few minutes. My university is located in Ostrowiec Świętokrzyski, in Świętokrzyskie Wojewodship, uh, close to the Świętokrzyskie Mountains uh, with the Holy Cross Monastery. Uh, it's a very interesting place worth seeing. I hope we'll uh, have the honor to host a uh, delegation uh, from International Balkan University and other uh, today uh, met, uh, newly met universities. Uh, my visit here also uh, Skopje is very nice place. 
uh, it's not a tourist visit or not mainly a tourist visit. Uh, I hope to establish new uh, contacts and the possibility of, of implementing uh, a new project with you. Uh, I believe that academic cooperation is a gateway to political cooperation between states, uh, a gateway to true European integration. Thank you. Thank you, Rector, for your speech. Now I realize that uh, I have completely uh, wrongly uh, written and pronounced the name of your university. Can you again repeat how Josef it is? Josef Goluchowski University of the Josef Goluchowski. Josef Goluchowski. Okay, so not Goluchowski, like not we use. <laughs> Goluchowski. Okay, uh, now we will have a more detailed presentation of your university. So I would like to invite uh, Dr. Furgac Przemyslav to address. Thank you for the yes. presentation yes. Yes. Just to share the slide. Directors, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, thank you very much for uh, your kind invitation. I feel privileged to have a possibility, a chance to give this short and succinct presentation right now. Uh, let me begin with showing you a short movie about our university.
Okay, and uh, now the presentation. Uh, the short history of our university. Our university was established in 1996 as the University of Business. But last, last year we changed the name of our university. Uh, now it is Yusuf Gorhovsky, University of Applied Sciences. The university is situated in Ostrowiecki and Kruszewski. It is a small Polish city inhabited by approximately 60,000 people. This is a city situated exactly halfway between Warsaw and uh, Krakow. Uh, we are one of the first private universities in Poland, and uh, actually we are the oldest private university in Świętokrzyskie Wojewodship. Wojewodship is, it is a equivalent of province, let's say, in Poland. Uh, the founder and creator of the university is Professor Zbigniew Doliwa Krypacki, uh, who specializes <coughs> in European integration as a subject matter of his research and studies. Uh, the patron of our university is a philosopher uh, from the 19th century. He was born nearby in Ostrowicz Świętokrzyski. He was also a uh, teacher uh, of uh, Polish poet Adam Mickiewicz. Uh, as regards our university, presently the university consists of three faculties. Faculty of Social and Technical Sciences, Faculty of Pedagogy and Faculty uh, of Health Sciences. Uh, we conduct education in the following programs, national security, economics, pedagogy, preschool and early school childhood education, social work, nursing, as well as several postgraduate studies, including two international ones. These international uh, postgraduate studies <laughs> are geoeconomics, as well as uh, geopolitics and geostrategy. Moreover, we have three divisions outside Ostrowiec Świętokrzyski, in Limanowa, uh, a city in southern Poland, in Miechów, uh, another city in southern Poland, and in Tomaszów Mazowiecki in central Poland. So as a matter of fact, we are associated, we are connected with four cities uh, in Poland. Uh, we are currently educating 501 undergraduate studying, students, 594 graduate students, uh, 117 students of uniform master's studies, and almost 1,400 postgraduate students. Overall, we have roughly 2,600 students. Uh, as regards our infrastructure for uh, teaching, we have a quite modern and advanced educational base, uh, especially uh, uh, as regards nursing. Uh, we have, for instance, monoprofile medical simulation center in which they are very advanced, very modern uh, equipment, phantoms with electronic sensors, for instance. Uh, we have also a special linguistic lab um, uh, where we teach languages, war game studio, professional recording studio. You can see on the right uh, part the slide uh, of the slide. We can see this studio. In this studio, our lecturers are recording uh, online courses, and so we have also a, a lot of simulators and training simulators. Uh, furthermore. I would like to uh, definitely emphasize and stress that our university is uh, quite well adopted to the needs of students with various miscellaneous disabilities in terms of law, architecture, and teaching methods. What does it mean? It, in practice, it means that students who are blind, who are deaf, or who are, who are unable to walk can study at our university without serious 
uh, difficulties, problems. Our their needs, requirements are quite specific and our university ad is adapted to their needs and requirements. Uh, our students are engaged, involved in various different miscellaneous activities, including Christmas cake fair, uh, charity carnival uh, ball. We organize regularly on a regular basis, juvenilia. Uh, our university regularly organizes uh, miscellaneous international academic conferences, seminars, and open lectures. Uh, these years, uh, we are planning to organize uh, a, an ex international academic expert conference uh, entitled Russo-Ukrainian War 2022 to 2023 Origins, Causes, Cause and Effects. It will take place in the midst of June this year. And uh, it, uh, I would like to highlight that our conferences almost always are multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary. For example, in this conference, we are planning to organize four separate sections or panels, political section, uh, military section, economic section, and medical section. For instance, about uh, battlefield medicine and feel invited for the conference. We have our own publishing house that releases academic books in the series Politics and Security, Economics and Law, Pedagogy, Health. We publish five journals, Acta Scientifica Academia Ostroviensis, uh, Central European Nursing Review, Ante Porters, Security Studies, Rocznik Ostrowiecki, and Polish Journal of Health and Fitness. We are uh, cooperating with uh, over a dozen of universities from uh, different states, from two continents, Europe and Asia. Among them, the Caucasus University, uh, the Caucasus Un uh, International University in Tbilisi, uh, Viv uh, National Medical University in Lviv in Ukraine, uh, Yuri Fetkovich uh, National University, uh, uh, university in Chernivtsi in Ukraine and many others. But we hope that uh, since this meeting, uh, we will initiate new partnerships, new cooperation activities with representatives of universities uh, from different uh, states of Europe and outside Europe as well. Uh, our academic, uh, we regularly uh, have lectures, visiting professors uh, as who are fluent or competent, not only uh, theoretically, but very often also practically from uh, different states, continents, Brazil, United States of America, India. Uh, for instance, uh, one of our lecturer uh, was a uh, head of military space program in India for many years. So uh, he has uh, very unique knowledge and competences in this uh, area. Uh, our university has had the Erasmus Charter since 2004. We constantly cooperate with uh, many different universities. Uh, and uh, I also tell you that Ostrovets Świętokrzyski is uh, a quite attractive city from the point of view of tourism. Within 40 kilometers uh, around Ostrovets, uh, we have uh, several tourist attractions like Holy Cross Monastery, like ancient uh, Flint mines registers in the special list uh, formed by the uh, UNESCO World Heritage UNESCO World Heritage uh, list. Uh, also, the 17th century Palazzo in Fortezza, Krzysztopol, 
the medieval Holy Cross Mountain Monastery and uh, uh, although not so high as your mountains, but also we have some mountains, Świętokrzyskie mountains, reportedly according to geologists, uh, the oldest mountain range, mountain range in Europe. Thank you very much for your patience. Thank you very much for the very useful presentation. I have to mention that uh, this university is one of our newest partners, and we are very glad to cooperate, especially in the area of nursing, uh, which you are going to have meetings later today. And also it was really, really, I mean, it was great to see that you have inclusion already incorporated in your institution. So I think that many would like to learn from your example. Uh, and now I would like to invite the last speaker, uh, Professor Dr. Efek Polat, to uh, present Karabuk University from Turkey. Dear rectors, distinguished guests, uh, I greet uh, you respectfully uh, on behalf of Karabük University. Karabük University has the highest number of international students in Turkey. I will make uh, my presentation in Turkey. My presentation is internationalization of Turkish higher education, opportunities and uh, utilizing them. Uh, where is the uh, Karab University? Uh, Karab, you know, Karab is uh, two hours from Istanbul, uh, two hours from Ankara and uh, four hours to Istanbul. Main campus uh, days uh, and night. Main campus. My university, uh, a success story. There was a competition among the universities in Turkey. Uh, and uh, some universities, especially the ones uh, in old and the big cities, uh, were superior uh, to us from the very beginning. We started the race on the highway. They had a super uh, powerful, let us say, model uh, racing car. Uh, we had a, a car uh, from the 1970. Even uh, stepping uh, on the accelerator uh, pedal, thinking uh, that we can pass uh, those who start racing uh, with these uh, super cars. It must have been the peak of naivety optimism. No. We got out uh, of the car and uh, just look at uh, behind them. That gave us the impetus, impetus. At the end of the race, we would uh, reach the finish the line uh, either with or uh, before them. What have uh, we done? We didn't uh, like the, the content uh, and agreement of the competition from the beginning. We decided to change uh, the content and arguments of the competition as well. In fact, uh, we have seen that it is not possible uh, to change this. So what should we do? We decide to change our uh, perspective. Con condition uh, are equal. Uh, what matters uh, is where uh, you choose to look.
In the started my rector academic years, we chose a different perspective and made an effort to recruit international students that year, especially Syrian students preferred Karabük University. Karabük was the third province with the highest number of Syrian students in that year. There were uh, 90, 31 Syrian students at our university. Now we are the third university with the highest number of Syrian students. We learned uh, a lot uh, from Syrian uh, students. They were uh, very successful in classes uh, and uh, very uh, terrible free students. This is how the lightning, lightning uh, flashes uh, in our heads. If you are a top manager and uh, you want to be successful, there is uh, no change uh, to miss opportunities. Science. We can uh, get very good students from uh, Turkey through to the local uh, and central exams. That we need to change uh, the perspective. We have also changed our target from uh, 80 million uh, to uh, 8 million students. Uh, Turkey, Turkey population. Uh, 18 million. The first uh, thing uh, we did in this regard uh, was uh, to go to Chad. Uh, in fact, uh, when we were uh, going to Chad, uh, our goal was to be uh, only 15 students if, if we could. The public of Chad students at, at the mission. There were students studying under the street lamp at uh, three uh, years. I uh, witnessed uh, this event uh, at the beginning of May uh, 17, 2017. We accepted uh, 215 students uh, that year from Chad, where we went uh, with the goal uh, of only 15 students. 215 students from uh, those uh, to, who entered uh, the top uh, 500 in the country's only Akatsya life exam. The following year, we expanded our target. We set out with the motto that we should get a total uh, all uh, 1,000 uh, students from the first uh, 1,000 uh, students in the university exam of every country for the world. And we uh, successed it. Every country has a similar university entrance exam. We made an effort to recruit students from uh, those who entered the, the top 1,000 uh, in the local exams of these countries. We choose target countries for ourselves. At the top of these countries uh, is the Republic of Chad. We uh, conducted university entry exams in uh, those uh, target countries. Uh, university entry exams uh, in Chad. Okay. University uh, number one in Turkey. Chat uh, on myself is a, a country with people uh, like uh, diamonds. Well, location <coughs> I didn't even know on the map before. But uh, who have uh, taken an uh, incredibly beautiful piece in uh, my here in five years. If you don't like a country or its citizens anyway, you cannot uh, do any work there. 
Now there uh, are around uh, 2,200 Chadian students in Turkey, approximately uh, 1,500 uh, uh, now. No. No, yes. All these students are studying in Karam. These, uh, okay, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Chadians uh, did that. It is Tevi. It is Tevi died uh, two years ago. Uh, and new presentation of Chad uh, awarded me the art of the state. We, what we did on the past. As I just men mentioned uh, about Chad bringing in the international students was part of uh, that goal. I would like to uh, repeat uh, that uh, phrase uh, that I like uh, very much. A person cannot be uh, stored. We got up early and uh, made our uh, way with a fast, uh, conscientious and a good team. We are uh, Currently ranked uh, one uh, university in Turkey with the highest number of international students. Number of international students by country. Uh, the most uh, students uh, country. Currently, there is a number of international students. Uh, Associate degree, bachelor's degree, graduate degree. Here, uh, I want to talk about uh, the second step forward. <coughs> Since we take the best students of a country, we try to send the best of these students uh, to the best university in the world when they graduate. Why uh, do we do this? We as Karab University are Streaming uh, to become uh, a more well known university in the world. I would like to mention uh, one more thing here. We had a dream. Can we be among the most uh, prestigious uh, 1000 universities in the world? Kitchen Mujan. However, uh, we consulted uh, about how to uh, achieve this. What would be your suggestion? We did not uh, get an answer other than an ironic look. After all, they were right. We were flying, at least we were determined to fly. In fact, uh, the main problem uh, from the very beginning is to think uh, that this uh, work is nearly impossible. We thought uh, that uh, there uh, are unknown uh, and very difficult aspects uh, of this process. But we keep questions, ignoring the sarcastic looks. We should we have done. We had to determine the, the team of to gain ourselves. We have to go beyond this uh, subject's uh, agenda or point of view determined by the system. I was not alone in this path and goal. There were people who believed in me. If, this, if there is uh, someone who believes in you on this path, it will be much easier uh, for you to achieve that job. We went to many countries in the world to make agreements between universities or to participate in education fair uh, in the world's uh, different education fairs. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. We have made universities visit abroad. It brought uh, along a great opportunity in terms uh, of expressing uh, ourselves, in uh, introducing ourselves and making friendships. 
university visits and the signing agreements abroad. Different countries, uh, all of pictures. We visit the ambassador uh, in Turkey. Different uh, countries, but in Turkey. Yes. Malaysian uh, president. Yes. We have always supported international students studying at our university in both educational and social social activities. Kitchen. Watch this one. The one. Uh, World Cup in uh, Arabic. Okay, the summarize. At the point of point we have uh, reached today, we have been among the best universities in the world for uh, two consecutive years in the list determined by time cycle education. And Arab University has been in top 500 uh, for the last uh, four years among emer emerging uh, economist university rankings and ASEAN University by the kitchen. Uh, my uh, our university uh, publishing uh, ML engineering science and technology and international journal product production uh, and hosting by a sewer kitchen. Iron and students the our university uh, the best uh, and the uh, first uh, as to in Turkey. Who has a top university? Okay. Uh, Times uh, ranking uh, 2020, 2021, and 2022 uh, last uh, three years. And the ranking of ASEAN University, uh, 20 to, uh, 20, uh, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, uh, rankings in, in the world. Thank you. Sorry, my English is very not good. <laughs> okay. This one, Dear Director, firstly, to congratulate you on the successful presentation. And thank you for suggesting this idea. We actually got the idea for this kind of panel from the rector from Karabuk University, and that's how we organized it. And that's how we asked the Polish delegation also to, to present their international strategy. Uh, before we, we end the session, I would like to ask if there are any questions or any comments. Yes? The students from Syria and Chad, in which language do they study? Turkish language, English language, do you have any English translation like for Turkish? I need translate. Okay. Turkish Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Turkish language. Ee, bizde yüz yüze yüz İngilizce bölümlerimiz de var. Ancak bütün öğrenciler Türkçe öğrenen sizler olur. Zorunlu. We have nearly more than uh, 12,000 
international students from 150 countries. Uh, we have uh, English taught programs, especially in the engineering faculty, but each student should have learned Turkish when they learn fresh, uh, when they newcomers. We have a center, Turkish center. We do not set the other exam results. They have to pass the Turkish in our university. Burada e, çarp e, örneğini verdik ama bizim e, sadece çarp değil e, birçok e, hedef ülkemiz vardı. Kuzey Irak bunlardan birisi, Senegal. Yani şöyle söyleyeyim, Türkiye'de en fazla e, öğrenci olan ülkeler Karabük Üniversitesi dokunan ülkeler. Özbekistan'ın en fazla öğrenci Karabük Üniversitesi. Kazakistan, e, Türkmenistan, e, Senegal, Somali, e, Çarp, e, bu Yemen, e, Ürdün. Bunlar benim aklıma gelenler, ee, şu an için hatırladıklarım. Ee, ve biz bu ülkelerin en iyi öğrencilerini almaya çalışıyoruz. Yani rastgele öğrenci seçip geçirmek yerine o ülkelerin en başarılı öğrencilerini alıp onlara bir şekilde e, burs sağlayıp e, onları eğitmek istiyoruz. Uh, our strategy for internationalization was not only Chad. Chad is the poorest third country in the world but also so many African countries, especially more, uh, except for the uh, African countries, uh, Iraq, uh, Yemen. Jordan, Yemen, Yemen. Uh, Somali, Somali. Senegal, <laughs> Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, and Uzbekistan. Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. <laughs> <laughs> E, şunu da eklemek istiyorum. E, biz e, Karabük Üniversitesi olarak bir yerde sosyal sorumluluk e, o, olarak görüyoruz bu işi. Ours is a public university, so it's non-profit, but we see we this is our vision to contribute to humanity for socialization. Şöyle ki, çap dünyanın en fakir üçüncü ülkesi. Nerede e, savaş var, nerede e, yoksulluk varsa o ülkeye biz gidiyoruz ve oranın öğrencilerini alıp eğitmek için uğraşıyoruz. Where there is war and poverty, we go there to take their best students to contribute to those countries. Majority of the public universities don't have such scholars for those students, but uh, together with the uh, public, local public, he tries to find, uh, tries to do his best. Bunun yanı da biz uluslararası öğrencilere özel e, böyle önem veriyoruz. Mesela Türkiye'de bir teknofest yarışması var biliyorsunuz. Teknofest yarışmalarına Özellikle e, o ülkelerden öğrencileri gruplar haline getirip yarışmalara katılmalarını sağlıyor. Başarıları görmek istiyoruz onları. Yine şunun da bahsettim. Bizden mezun olan uluslararası öğrencileri başka ülkelere bizden çok daha iyi olan e, üniversitelere gitmelerini sağlıyor. Bunun için onları teşvik ediyoruz. E, neden? Karabük Üniversitesi daha 15 yaşında bir üniversite. Bizim üniversitelerin tanımlarını arttırmamız için bizden başarılı öğrenciler oralara gitmeleri gerekiyor. Siz ne kadar bağırırsanız bağırın tanımlanmazsınız. Yani sizin başarınızı ancak sizin yetiştirdiğiniz mezunlarınızla tanıyabiliyorlar. Uh, ours is a very young 15 year, 15 year university. How we can uh, make our university uh, to be known in the world? By choosing the top students of each countries, and after educating them, send them for bachelor, for master or PhD degrees to the well-known ones, to the most prestigious ones, to attract those universities' attention that those brilliant those students are coming from Arabic universities. <laughs> Answering the questions. Are there any other questions or comments? No? 
Okay. As I said at the beginning, this is the first time we have three rectors in the same room. So I would kindly like to invite them to take a picture in front of the flags. <laughs> directors and your guests, thank you for honoring us with this session, for your participation, for your uh, discussion of internationalization. And now we would like to invite you for a short coffee break before we continue the teaching part. Thank you. Thank you.